man. It's my first time out of the house. Why am I putting my belt on? I'm driving 10 meters further forward, but it's my first time actually out of the house since last Friday when me and the old man came home from work for the last time. It's now Thursday. It's now like half past four in the afternoon on the following Thursday. And I haven't gone stir crazy because I've been that busy with these bloody videos. The annoying thing is, right, I actually, um, let's just mute that. I actually had my car MOT'd. I had Alison, my beautiful Alison, MOT'd. I got Alison a year ago the other day. Um, and obviously the tax and everything like that lasts a year. And because of this whole thing that's going on in the world right now, um, they scrapped that. They basically said, if your car has run out of tax, run out of MOT, don't worry, you can still drive it for the next six months because you don't need it unless it's urgent. So I had my car MOT'd and I didn't really need it to be. But it's okay, Alison needed some TLC. I miss driving, I just want to go for a drive around the block. But it's not essential, so I shall not. I might keep her running for a few minutes though because she is an old bird. So she does need to tick over, you know? She hasn't been driven for a week, so. What's up guys? Liam here. Welcome back to LSJ TV. We are about to hit an upper body day. I'm literally just going to sit in the car for 5-10 minutes, let the car kind of tick over, rev it a little bit. And uh, yeah, but it's an old car. So if you have an old car in a time like this, um, I know you're not supposed to go outside and stuff, but for the sake of not having to pay hundreds, if not thousands of pounds further down the road, um, my house is 10 meters that way and I'm going to come and sit in my car to kind of rev it every now and then. So that the battery doesn't die and so that the car can basically be okay once this all blows over. But uh, anyway, I'm going to sit here, take some pre. I'm feeling the grape today. Grape, my protein, the pre-workout. These videos are really keeping me amused and thank you for all your kind messages. It really does mean the world. It's tough times. It is, it is tough times and we can throw it together, you know. Drop this video a like. Let's get it started. So this is actually probably my my favourite day um, to train at the minute. I'm just really enjoying it. I, I'm enjoying the entire upper body pump rather than specific to one body part. You know, like a push day or a pull day or a leg day. I mean, that's in in this plan too. It's the five day plan, the OHP plan. It's live on the site. There's like five plans left. But this, I don't know. I'm just really enjoying the upper body kind of um, pump. And there's two leg days in this plan, but the, the two leg days are slightly different rep ranges and everything like that. Um, and so uh, the upper and the lower days are actually my two favorite days at the minute. I'm just really enjoying it. But um, yeah, smashing the training, 174 point something pounds this morning. I feel like I should be on track. I feel like I should train. And I feel like I am. So it's going good. So, this morning, I was 174.6, something like that. Obliques definitely starting to come in. Love handles, 100% still there. I mean, there's no point freaking denying it. However, they are a lot better than they were a few weeks ago, okay? Lines starting to come in in my arms, veins. I just feel a lot more, uh, well, I don't know. I, do, I feel better. I feel a lot better looking at myself in the mirror now. When I was at the kind of top, uh, or kind of, it was mid 180s, when I was just a bit like, 
okay, yeah, it's just that little bit too far, and now I definitely feel a lot better anyway. One thing I've been doing on a daily basis is when I wake up in the morning, standing up against the wall, I'm gonna to struggle to do this because it's like late afternoon now, but standing up against the wall like this, chest up, shoulders back, and then going into the vacuum. It's literally impossible to talk whilst I do it, but you get the picture. So essentially, standing with poor posture like this, stand up straight, chest up, shoulders back, and breathe in, and I do that every single day. My vacuum is actually a lot stronger than my abs. I, hold, I do hold a lot of fat on my abs, I do. They're probably my least worked body part in, in terms of training, hence the overuse of the machine at the minute and really trying to build them up. But my vacuum I've practiced pretty much every day for about two years now, regardless of whether I'm bulking or cutting, at least every other day, I've kind of just, you know. Another tip, actually, lie on the floor or lie on your bed first thing in the morning and you do the same thing. It really helps, especially if you have an empty stomach, to just <sighs> bring it in, you know? And I cannot even emphasize how difficult that is. But the thing is, when I want to eventually compete, it will be in classic physique. So, one thing that looks great and is definitely a real kind of hype thing now is, is, is the vacuum. And so being able to kind of transition from, let's say, a side chest to rather than just letting it all hang out and coming round like this, I could kind of transition into another pose. I, obviously, that's just kind of made up on the spot, but... You get the point. So it's something that I've, I've really wanted to, to work on and I feel like I'm definitely getting the hang of. Um, it's just these things take time uh, and you have to be kind of honest with yourself. Me being completely honest with myself, it, it, I say, you know, my abs suck. They're covered in fat for one and they're hardly built up for two. Like if you compare the, the muscle mass on, on the, the rest of my body and compared to the thickness and density of my abs, they're massively lagging behind, so it is something that I'm working on, um, but I'm not gonna be competing just yet. So we've got plenty of time to be working on that. But you guys get the point. Here we are at 174 odd pounds. Let's call it 174, okay? Overall, I am really happy with that. Um, I feel like I am leaner now at 174, 175 pounds than I was at body power at 170 pounds this time last year. So definitely a few pounds of muscle have been added somewhere. I don't know where, kind of evenly spread, I, s I suppose. I don't think any one muscle group has really, really massively progressed over the last year or so. Um, I think it's been fairly fairly even, which is good, you know? Symmetry is important, so it's something that I'm working on, but that's where we're at. So any constructive comments, welcome. Um, obviously with the posing and stuff, it's something that I'm working on on a daily basis as of right now. So any kind of help, any guidance, any tips that you guys can give me um, where I should be positioning myself, arms, legs, blah, blah, blah. Um, that genuinely be really appreciated because if I take on, the thing is with bodybuilding, it's everybody's opinion. It's one guy's opinion on the day next to one guy next to another. Like there's a few, few people judging you, right? But it's all about perspective and it's all about what they think. If I can take all these different perspectives from everybody watching me on the internet, then that can help me in terms of combining all of those things into one and actually having a better overall physique slash posing routine because of that, if that makes any sense. In other words, be okay with taking a bit of criticism and it can actually help you. It really, really can. So that's my plan anyway, but on with the day.
Yeah, with my glass of wine and let everyone else do it. No, no, something for everyone, Karen. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it's multiple choice. Uh, the last, last five yeah, questions. Last five questions. Not, 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 Yeah. Great news. Mike, we just received your prize. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that was really cool and really fun. And I would definitely recommend that you guys do this. It's something called Zoom. So if you get your laptop, iPad or something like that up, um, it's essentially like, oh, I mentioned that house party app a couple of weeks ago, right? Don't use it. Apparently people are having stuff stolen from it. Just delete your account, delete everything. There's plenty of other things that don't come with that risk that you can um, use, you know? Worry-free sort of thing. That right there was a quiz with all of our neighbors, uh, families like my sisters and all that kind of stuff. We kind of got involved with this um, this, this quiz that my next door neighbors actually did. We've, obviously, we've known each other for like 30 years, both the families and stuff. And so basically the extended families of all of the above kind of got involved. It was really cool. Um, I would definitely recommend that you guys jump on this whole Zoom thing. It's actually a business kind of conference call thing, right? People that are actually working from home are actually using Zoom as like a business communication. Next door neighbor basically put the presentation up as though you would if you were doing a business meeting, but actually the presentation was a quiz and we all just kind of got involved. We had a drinks break for a gin, top up in the middle and stuff. It was really good, it was really good fun. I definitely recommend that you guys jump on something like that or just use social media in, in one way or another to connect with everyone in, in every way that you possibly can through this um, weird and strange and difficult and just downright bizarre time. So I hope you're all doing well on that note. I wanted to explain that because I know that plenty of people will be watching thinking, what the hell did I just spend the last few minutes watching? Basically, it was the clap for the NHS and um, the Zoom kind of quiz thing. Definitely recommend getting involved with all of the above basically if you have the chance plenty coming your way this week people one more update before we go are the t-shirts if you ordered them around the launch or until now so now this will be going live on sunday night if you if you ordered in that time between wednesday and sunday when it went uh live your package will be shipped on Monday. I'm basically saving the unnecessary trips um, to the post office. I don't think our mate Boris will be very happy if I'm taking daily trips to the post office. The whole social distancing thing and staying home unless it's essential um, right now, I don't want to be going to the post office um, for one t-shirt. The bulk of the t-shirt orders came overnight, but then for the kind of 24 hours and 48 hours since then, um, orders have kind of kept coming in, but they've just been trickling in rather than being a constant flow of, of orders like it was in the first kind of 12 to 24 hours. So I didn't want to take those orders for the first 24 hours to the post office because they're already or whatever and then have to go back over the next day because someone's ordered one t-shirt. Just, just see what I mean? So to save all the non-essential trips, I'm basically building it up over a few days and then I'll kind of just go every few days until they're all gone. Um, and then that will be that really. But they are selling fast and there is still some sizes left. We're pretty much down to the point where we have one or two of each size of what's left. I can't actually remember off the top of my head what's left but link will be in the description box just go and check it out if you fancy anything go cop one you will be directly helping out your favorite youtuber and everybody loves doing that don't they thank you so much for watching today's video guys i've got diet updates i've got uh, plenty of interesting videos coming um i think the old man's gonna have a go on this over the next couple of days or so and we'll be getting rid of this in the meantime as well magnificent transformation coming up for you guys i hope you have enjoyed this one if you have drop it a like comment down below subscribe if you are new stick around for plenty of isolation content we are staying here all day every day i haven't left the house for eight days now but it's gonna be fine we're not going crazy actually surprisingly enough because i've been keeping myself busy so try and find something to keep your mind occupied in this time um feel free to drop me a message if you feel like you're struggling i'm always here thanks so much for watching guys stay safe be careful just don't do anything stupid like go to the post office to deliver one t-shirt that would be dumb and i'll see you in the next one